Today I will explain a sci-fi and thrilling story. So let's get started. The year was 1928. On an exploration in the snowy Karakoram Mountains of India, a mountaineer encounters a glowing orb of ice. The mountaineer tried to break it. After breaking away a piece of ice with his pickaxe, he is blinded by a fierce and frightful light. After some time he finds himself waking after a sudden loss of consciousness. The glowing orb of ice from before has vanished but strangely he finds a scar on his hand. Fast forward to the present day. At Princeton University a famed astrobiologist, Professor Helen Benson goes home to make dinner for her stepson Jacob when she receives a miscellaneous phone call that they are on their way to pick her up. When she asked who they are, at the same time there was a knock on the door, United States government police comes in front of her house and hastily tell her she is under federal protection and must leave with them immediately. They arrive at FT. Linwood in New Jersey where she goes with others in a conference room and is shown that a large unknown object will crush with a speed of approximately one-tenth the speed of light is due to impact Manhattan in almost 78 minutes. She goes on a helicopter along with a group of other scientists to develop a survival plan. Just as they brace themselves for impact but shockingly everything was quiet. Apparently the unknown object has slowed down and is not going to crash. Dr. Benson turns around to look out the window on the helicopter just in time to see a large bright sphere coming the ground. It is a spaceship and it lands very gently in Central Park. A being named Claudu emerges from the spaceship, at that place the military has established a confinement. Just as Dr. Benson is about to shake hands with the alien, it gets shotted by a military soldiers. Then a gigantic robot appear emitting a sound that paralyzes all humans and disrupts all electrical systems in New York City. Before the robot can take the being back, it is ordered to shut down by the being. The being is taken up by the military and rushed to the military hospital where the doctors revive the dying being. A surgeon is brought in to remove the bullet. While he was removed the bullet he notices that the being's outer layer is a jelly substance much like whale blubber and it begins to fall off on its own. The theory of this was the being's placenta much like a human baby and that it was born here on Earth. In 1928 when it landed the first time, the patch of skin removed from the mountaineer's hand was a DNA sample so the being could replicate itself into human form. The being is directly put into an incubator while it grows. After some time we see a full-grown human inside the incubator. Once fully grown and awake he begins to thrash around in the incubator and the first person there to speak to him is Dr. Benson. While recovering he is interviewed by United States Secretary of Defense Regina Jackson, Dr. Michael Granier and Dr. Benson. He introduces himself as Klaatu. He informs them that he is a representative of a group of alien races sent to talk to the world leaders. Jackson laughs at this and tells him that she is the nearest he is going to get to their president and to just tell her what he wants. Claude don't trust her word and he refuses, so she orders others to send Claude to a secure location and be drugged and interrogated. Dr. Benson volunteers to do the honors of drugging him but instead injects him with a solution of saline while whispering to him run. During the polygraph Claude manages to take mind control of the interrogator and escape.